How do we get people to tell the truth about research misbehavior? We are about to conduct the biggest survey ever on research misbehaviors among scientists. But how do you conduct a survey on a touchy subject like research misbehavior? Who is going to admit that they are being loose with the rules? What if we told you our survey is designed to guarantee your privacy 100%? How? Firstly, your survey link, email and its IP address are never stored in our database, so answers can never be individually traced back. In other words, we will never know who said what. In fact, even us researchers will never be able to see or track any individual answers at all. How do we make this happen? With a randomized response, a method that's been around since the 1950s. This is how it works. We ask you a yes or no question. For example, did you ever steal? You have two choices as an answer, yes or no. These answers are represented by symbols, say a yes for a triangle and no for a circle. When the question is presented to you online, you press a start button. The symbols on the screen now begin to alternate between a triangle and a circle. When ready to answer, you hit stop. The symbols freeze. Yes may be represented by a triangle and no by a circle. In a separate box, you choose the symbol that represents your answer. Because you alone control when the symbols stop alternating, no one knows which symbols represent yes and no at the time you hit stop, except yourself. These answers get thrown into a big box of data, and we end up with a ton of circles and triangles for every question, not knowing who picked what and if they meant yes or no at the time they answered. So what use is this information if you can't tell what someone's answer means? How will we ever know if scientists did steal? On an individual level, it's useless. And that's the point. The purpose is not to know individual answers, but the group's answers as a whole, or what we call the prevalence of the behavior. How do we figure this out from this big box of symbols? Well, before the study, the probabilities behind how often a circle or triangle alternates between yes or no are fixed. For example, every five out of six triangles mean yes, and every five out of six circles mean no. This is the key to finding out what the answers mean. Because the probabilities are fixed, we can now estimate how many times a triangle meant yes and a circle no. We end up knowing how many scientists are thieves, but we will never exactly know who they are. We will never be able to trace the answers back to an individual. Your privacy is protected. Using this method in our survey, we hope to get an honest report on the state of research integrity of scientists as a whole. The data we collect will help us to understand the extent to which misbehaviors happen in science while protecting an individual's identity. And from there, we can start to improve research integrity.